Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Ketamine Queen Jasveen Sunga, charged with supplying drugs to Friends star Matthew Perry, has been blasted by the sister of the second victim. Kimberly McClory said last night, she is responsible for my brother Cody's death. It comes as our channel on Sunday can reveal that Sunga spent time studying in London, where she claimed to have worked for the Financial Times newspaper. The 41-year-old U.S.-British dual national is charged in connection with the drug-related deaths of Cody in 2019, as well as 54-year-old actor Matthew, who drowned in a hot tub at his L.A. mansion last October after overdosing on ketamine, an anesthetic with hallucinatory side effects. Now, in an exclusive interview, Kimberly, 42, said, like every drug dealer, she took advantage of vulnerable people. And she said of her brother, I do believe that if he did not have access to ketamine on that day, he wouldn't have died. We can reveal new details about glamorous, brainy Sunga's British links, including how she claims to have wooed Financial Times executives while studying at London's Holt International Business School in 2010. She contributed to the FT via a learning scheme, writing of her consultant role on the LinkedIn social media platform, collaborated with a team to create multiple strategies in order to increase revenues and subscriptions for the FT's electronic-slash-internet paper. Sunga said she created a presentation to pitch ideas to bosses, bragging that her team was ranked third out of eight by the paper's execs. But an FT spokesman said she was never employed there, and a source said she had been on an action learning program, a project between the school and the newspaper. Sunga, whose mother is from Ilford, Essex, has spent most of her life in the U.S., where she is accused of running a drug-selling emporium from her North Hollywood apartment. She finished studying at L.A.'s Calabasas High School in 2001 and wrote in her yearbook, It isn't what they say about you, it's what they whisper. We can only fly by embracing one another. The quotes are nods to Hollywood legend Errol Flynn and Italian actor Luciano Di Crescenzo. After leaving school, Sunga got a degree in sociology and political science at the University of California, Irvine, in 2005. Five years later, she earned a master's in business administration at the Holt School in London. Sunga's LinkedIn account also says she was a style coordinator for the firm Ice Clothing during summers in London from 2002 to 2011. If Cody had not had access to ketamine on that day, he would not have died. She boasts of specializing in sales and negotiation on her profile and writes, professional experience in sales, operations, and management. Back in LA, she ran a nail salon for a time but, in more recent years, she has been leading a lavish lifestyle which she has paraded in front of her 10,000 Instagram followers. Photos show her enjoying caviar and champagne, plus jaunts to exotic locations including Mexico. Days after the actor's death, Sunga flew to Tokyo where she stayed at the Swish Mandarin Oriental Hotel. She frequently poses online in designer gear, and in one picture lies in a bath with an 8,000-pound Hermes handbag wrapped around her foot. Cody McClory died within a day of allegedly buying drugs from Sunga in Los Angeles in 2019. Later, his distraught sister Kimberly texted Sunga, the ketamine you sold my brother killed him. It's listed as the cause of death. According to court documents, days later Sunga googled can ketamine be listed as a cause of death. One of the charges she faces states, on or about August 26, 2019 she knowingly and intentionally distributed, and willfully caused to be distributed, ketamine. She did this to herself. She made her bed and she deserves to pay the consequences. From her home in Aberdeen, Washington, nutritionist Kimberly said, I hold Jasveen responsible for my brother's death. She provided him with access to a controlled substance. After I texted her of course she didn't reply. It was obvious she wasn't bothered. While there is no moral code to being a drug dealer, the fact that she continued to sell drugs after two known deaths shows her character. Detectives linked the deaths of Matthew and Alaskan-born Cody, who lived in LA, after seeing Kimberly's text on Sunga's phone. Kimberly's mom Susan, 65, had suspected a potential.